let's create the mesh um, for the problem. That is, we'll divide the, the domain up into these little chunks or control volumes. Um, I can, I'm done with the geometry, so I will X out of that. And I will double click on mesh to bring up the mesher. And it says attaching geometry. Okay, so the geometry has come into the mesher. And let's take a look at the default mesh. So highlight mesh in the tree and click update. This gives us an unstructured mesh and if I zoom into the cylinder, the resolution near the cylinder is pretty coarse. I would prefer to have a structured mesh uh, since this is a regular geometry and you can see the difference. So this is, uh, um, you know, it's, it's an irregular mesh. So to get a regular or a structured mesh, I will select mesh control face meshing. This used to be called map face meshing in previous versions. And for geometry selection, I can just paint select. So I can just drag the cursor over both faces and click apply and update. Highlight mesh in the tree, you see the difference between the irregular mesh and this nice regular mesh, which is a structured mesh. And um, so you can map this to a rectangle, which is why it's called a, a structured mesh. So that's a better mesh. And, but we would like to get much finer resolution um, near the cylinder. Let's put in some sizings. I'll select mesh control, sizing. I will put sizings on edges, so edge selection filter. Control click on the two parts of the circle, zoom out, and also select the, uh, the parts of the outer circle, and click apply. You should get four edges. I will select them to have a number of divisions set to be 96. This is to match a paper by my colleague, Professor Koi. The behavior, so this is, you know, this means that this setting is soft setting and ANSYS can modify it, and which is what you want to do for complex geometries. But since this is a simple geometry, I will tell ANSYS not to mess with the setting and I'll make this a hard setting. And it shows me, you know, what those divisions look like. I also want to put uh, a sizing on these edges. So let me do it on this edge first. Mesh control, sizing, select that edge, apply, and I will again set the number of divisions to be 96, and I'll say this is a hard setting. If I zoom in here using the right mouse button, I see these are uniform divisions. I want to do better I know that, you know, away from the cylinder, I don't need as much resolution, so I'll put in a biasing. And to see the sense of the biasing, go to geometry and click on display edge direction. And if I zoom out, I see the sense of this edge is like that. Um, so that's the start of the line, and that's the end of the line matters when I pick the biasing. So if I go to edge sizing and I turn on the bias, so I want larger divisions at the start of that line and smaller divisions at the end of the line. Since the line starts from here and ends over here. The 
<coughs> bias factor I will set to be 460. That is to match the distance of the first um, grid line from the cylinder. We'll um, check that in a, a little bit later. And if I come here, I see that you know I get finer resolutions closer to the cylinder and, and closer resolution away from the cylinder. I want to do the same thing for this edge, but the, uh, the sense of the biasing is going to be opposite. So I'll duplicate that. I will change the scoping and apply that to that edge and I have to change the sense of the biasing as you can see over here. So I'll change the sense of the biasing. I can turn off the the arrows and update the mesh. I light mesh and this is what I get. If I zoom in close to the cylinder I see I have very fine resolution and this matches the, the paper that I was referring to. I'll save the project.